Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be demoing Windows 3.1. So this was one of the earliest versions of Microsoft Windows that was ever released to the public. Let's begin. So we just had the quick startup screen and now we're at the program manager. So we didn't have a w Windows 95 style GUI where you have the start menu at the bottom or any windows of that uh, GUI. So it's a very limited way when it comes to choosing applications or just, you don't even have a desktop. This is how the current desktop would look like in Windows 3.1. But what we do have is a file manager, which when we open, we're able to look at all the programs that we have, such as a Windows 95 demo application. So we can close that. We have our control panel where we can change some Windows themes such as our color. So if we can change it to Arizona, this is how it would look. But we'll just change it back to default perhaps. So we can also change our fonts, but we're not going to go through that. Ports, mouse, you can change the mouse tracking speed. You can change the desktop pattern. So if we want to change it to like boxes, we can do that. Or we can also change it to another pattern like this pattern right here. Or we can just change it back to what it originally was because for consistency. We've got printers, we've got international, 386 enhanced. This was created at the time where the internet wasn't even developed yet, let alone Wi Fi. So we have our date and time, 386 enhanced, drivers and sound. So we can close that. We have our print manager, clipboard viewer, where you can just do control C, you can find probably find something on the clipboard. We have our MS DOS prompt, which does require you to actually, it's only full screen. So we just quit that. Windows setup, PIF editor, README. Windows setup just gives you some, the display and your keyboard that you're using. We've got our PIF editor and README, which is just simple information when it comes to the windows. Now, if we go into accessories, we have right paintbrush. Paintbrush was like an early version of what would end up being known as MS Paint. So we can close that and we're not going to change save changes. We have our notepad over here. This is a test. So, so we'll close that. We have our recorder, car file, calendar, calculator. This is how the calculator would look. Clock. This is our clock. Object packager, character map, media player, and the sound recorder. We have our games over here. We only have two games. We have the glorious Minesweeper which is like a good brain game in a way. And we also have Solitaire, which actually fills up most of the screens, as you can see. Interesting, isn't it? So these are our games. And main, we've gone through that. And startup is just your startup applications. We've gone for accessories already. And applications, we have Microsoft QBasic, MWAV, and Microsoft Antivirus. Because even at that time, there were viruses for DOS. Microsoft QBasic, which I think is just another version of MS-DOS editing. So we'll close that. Smart monitor, smart drive monitor actually. 
and Microsoft Antivirus, let's just detect. Reading directories for drive A, drive would not log. We can detect for drive C on the other hand. And no, nothing has been found, fortunately. And then of course we have the MS-DOS editor, which you can access using DOS. But this is how it would look. Now the one thing I'd like to mention is with Windows 3.1, if you press Control Alt Delete, you end up having a BSOD of some sort, which tells you, although you can use Control Alt Delete to quit an application that stopped responding, there's no application in this state. But if there was, it will mention what application has stopped responding and will allow you to terminate the program. So I'll just press any key and we'll go back into the Windows. So we also have our options here where we can auto arrange, minimize on use and save settings on exit. However, I'm actually gonna open up this for example. And if we minimize an application, it will show up over here. So we'll close that. We can just double click this to close. So that's a quick demo of Windows 3.1. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Thank you all for watching and see you all in my next video.